Good evening and thanks for sticking around. I'm Blake Dollier with Sports. Cowan Wrestling is gearing up for sectionals, but a few short years ago, there wasn't a team at all. I went out and hit the mats to find more. A small school with big dreams. There was, there was plenty of people that told me that uh, they didn't think they could happen at, at Cowan High School. With a lot of doubters and its principal retiring, Cowan Wrestling was brought back just in time. So fortunately, about the time I retired, Mr. Abbott, Tony, and uh, Mr. Bloom, they, they got together and, and with a little help from me, but mostly those two did, did what needed to be done, convinced the school board to give it a shot. It's a story of what ifs, and it's hard to say where these athletes would be without wrestling. Honestly, probably sitting at home playing video games, but here I'm working out, getting bigger, stronger. This opportunity is one the soon-to-be wrestlers took full advantage of. This program I started here whenever I was in middle school, uh, actually probably before that, but it's just been a life changer, honestly. Not five, not 10, not 15, but 20 years, two entire decades, Cowan went without a wrestling team. But after hitting reset in 2015, Coach Abbott often reflects on why he came to coach. For what it done for my life, um, that's, that's why I do it, to kind of repay the favor. Bringing us to today, the Blackhawks program, reborn, and arguably stronger than ever, thanks to a team effort. He's the only senior on the team now. I think Tom Stevens is saying when he started four years ago, he was one of four wrestlers. And now they've gone up to where they are now. And if you walk into practice now, you're going to see about 25, maybe 26, seven kids in there on a day. And each of those student athletes are aiming high. Uh, this year, I want to go to semi-state. Cowan repeated as MEC champions this past Saturday. Next on the agenda, to move through sectional Saturday morning at 9 o'clock at Delta High School.